It's the Blue Penguin back with another TF2 video. Today I have with me Bubblegum, a strange sticky combination of a heavy and a spy main. This mess of a person is joining me today. How's it going, Bubblegum? Pretty good. Yourself? I'm doing just alright, because I'm still a little sad about my bike being stolen. But it's my birthday coming up tomorrow, so there's that. Oh, same. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. ha happy early birthday. Same to you. So let's just right into the content. You've been playing in early 2014, but you've been an on and off player. Most, that is true. Uh, significant change when you were coming back on. Like, whoa, I did not expect this. Title screen was a pretty uh, noticeable change, especially uh, how it's laid out. But the most apparent gameplay change, there was a lot of different maps added that I experimented with for a long time when I first got back. A lot of capture points uh, maps that I've played on were the newer ones because I hadn't experienced them yet. I actually forgot about the HUD changes. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that you remember that because I have pushed that deep in the back of my mind. I don't want to remember the old HUD. The thing is, a lot of people actually complained about the new HUD. I think they just did that because it was different and they weren't used to it yet, but I, I like the yeah. new HUD so much more. Yeah, it's a lot more uh, convenient to navigate. Um, everything's a lot more simple, simply laid out, especially for new players. Yeah, especially like how you're able to choose between the maps so much easier, uh, yes, just by definitely. doing all the check boxes. Much more convenient. And you can queue for multiple game modes, which is always nice. Yeah, if you don't really have an idea of what you want to do, you can just hop into a random match. Yeah. So, what would you like to have possibly changed or added to the game if you were given the free reins to do so? Well, this is something I usually mention a lot, but the training mode, I really think that it's very primitive for the standards that, like in 2019, I know that DF2 is an old game, but they've had plenty of time to implement new changes to the practice and training mode. I agree wholeheartedly, and I can't believe I haven't mentioned that myself, honestly. Teaching players about all of the classes, I mean, I think there's only, like, three different tutorials for a couple classes. Yeah, I think they teach it for Soldier, Engineer, and Spy, and that's it. Soldier doesn't really need a tutorial. If anything, uh, I think Heavy really would uh, benefit from a tutorial. Why do you say that? I mean, uh, Soldier, not to insult any Soldier mains, but he's a relatively simple class to play, especially for new players and veterans alike. I mean, you can get really good at him with rocket jumping and all that stuff. But, so you're, I mean, you're telling me that Heavy Weapons Guy is more complicated than Soldier. Well, I mean, um, not really. I mean, there are technically, like, the... I mean, they are technically at, at, at around the same skill level to play. As a Heavy main, no. I can definitely say that Soldier takes a lot more skill, and the skill ceiling is much higher. Like, Heavy mains, yeah, yeah all respect I to him. With, I agree with the... I would say he Soldier is definitely more complicated because with Soldier, there's rocket jumping. You got to deal with splash damage. With heavy, it's just keeping your crosshairs on the target. It's simple. It's easy to learn, and it's probably relatively easy to master compared to the other classes. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree, but um, I feel like they should at least slot him in somewhere because number one, he's the face of the game. I mean, he's yeah, still team yeah. two, and he's like the first character that you see, and also he's a very He's a very well-rounded character that you can... I mean, he has the shotgun, which a lot of classes have a shotgun. He can and do the sandwich. Very, like, yeah, I mean the sandwich. But uh, a lot of characters do have a shotgun, which uh, would help you learn how to use a shotgun, obviously. But also, it'll teach you about positioning, timing, stuff like that. So you're talking about training mode. You're not talking about tutorials. Is that correct? Yeah, like, whenever you get into the game and you have, like, the training. Like, okay, I, I was yeah. mistaken. I thought you were exclusively talking about the tutorials. But yeah, yeah. I mean, Heavy doesn't really need a tutorial, per se. But, yeah, that, that's uh, why I was really confused and like, uh, no, Heavy doesn't need a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> that's why a lot of people gravitate towards those three classes that you've mentioned. Uh, that with the tutor Those are the ones with the tutorials, mm -hmm. especially Spy. Which leads to a lot of new spy players that just walk around trying to butter knife people. Yeah, I, I think that what TF2 really needs is a tutorial that actually functions. You know, one that doesn't miss out on important non-stock weapons such as heavy sandwich or the different uses of mediguns. They should have yeah. a tutorial 
probably for every single class in the game, ones that are maybe a little bit more advanced than the ones they have now. Because it's like the tutorials are designed for people who've never played an FPS game before, which yeah, is I mean, nice, but they need to have more advanced tutorials with it. Uh, yeah, and I also feel that's why a lot of new players get a lot of hate, because they're very confused on how to play the game, which, like I said, walks, uh, it's very annoying to have a spy on your team that doesn't know what he's doing, but it's very understandable, because if you haven't looked up a YouTube video or anything like that, it's very hard to understand how to effectively play spy. Yeah, even if you have seen videos before, mastering it and getting competent at it is far more difficult than what the spy mains on YouTube make it look like it is. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people will get actually very angry at coolest spy snipers in their team, which encourages people to leave early on. If I mean, I know that TF2, the TF2 team can't really fix a bad community or whatever, but mm -hmm. they can at least try and fix it with like better tutorials and uh, explaining how the class works a little bit better. And it should also probably make the tutorials more visible when you first start the game because you have to actually look for it to do the tutorials or yeah, training and, mode. Uh, but we're yeah, but just mean, about out of time. Is there anything else you want to mention before we go? The sticky bomb launcher is the best demo secondary. Don't add me. <laughs> <laughs>